Now it's working? Yes, okay. This is the third time I've tried it and it froze the first two times, so. Good thing I had all this time to kill. It's actually, oh, look how late I am. 6.30, happy Monday. It's 96 degrees. Today's unofficial high was 99. They swore it was going to hit 100 today, but it did not. A little consolation when it hits 99. I need some veggies. Cheers. Man, I gotta get some snacks. You only have so many soy nuts until you get really tired of them. I don't want any candy. I have some beef jerky, but it's in the fridge because it's re you have to refrigerate it after a couple days. I wonder if it's still there. People wouldn't eat my food out of the fridge, would they? I don't know. I'll have to go check. I won't check right now. Boy, I really want some, though. Well, we'll get to that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me start over. Hi, happy Monday. It's 6.31 p.m. and it's 96 degrees. God, it's hot. It's supposed to be hotter tomorrow. Another heat wave. The thing is, it did rain a little bit over the weekend, just not enough to make a, much of a difference. And the wind is just fast and strong and from the hot place to us, bringing the heat. I had all sorts of stuff I wanted to talk about, but in the process of spending 20 minutes trying to figure out why this camera was freezing the laptop, I've totally forgotten everything. Oh, but I was going to say something about the nationwide race. Super exciting, wasn't it? So nice of Amber Cope to make sure she got on TV. I'm one of the few people that can tell the difference between Amber Cope and Angela Cope. I've said this in the past. But I can't tell the difference between the current three Miss Sprint Cups because they all look alike to me. Which is weird because they're not identical twins or identical triplets, unlike Amber and Angela. But they're definitely different looking for being identical twins. That's just me. Uh, if I had to choose, uh, I would choose Amber. But if I had to choose as a race car driver, I would choose neither. But it's really a shame how that how she played into the finish of the race. Although I'm one of those people that thinks Brad might have been able to catch him anyway. There was a lot of lap traffic besides her, but she was the one that. Kevin Kevin really mellowed after he had that kid, didn't he? You can really tell that he's going to change. I wonder what Delana thinks about this. I wonder what all the people who watch this but don't follow NASCAR care about this. The funny thing was how everyone had suddenly had an opinion, almost none of whom watched the race, and none of whom follow the Nationwide Series, and none of whom were probably even aware that Amber was in the 24 this week. I only know because I follow the team. I follow a lot of backmarkers. I've noticed that. It's fun, though. They're more likely to talk to you. Besides, I won a J.J. Yaley hat playing Speed Dice. Very proud of myself for that. I just wish I'd won it the year he was at Front Row instead of uh, at uh, uh, Robinson Blakely. The Dark Knight Rises. Uh-oh. Someone saw the Batman movie, and they told the board about it. Hey, are you guys still watching? Uh, oh, yes. I wrote it down. Are you watching the newsroom? Still? I don't know. There wasn't a thread last week. I think we had two threads for the first two episodes, and then maybe those people gave up the same time I did. What's really annoying about the newsroom is it exists only for people who write about television shows on the Internet. And not even that. People who just write on the Internet. Not necessarily about television shows, but they will write about this television show. And they want you to know that they're writing about this television show. And they want you to know that they're reading what other people are writing about this television show. And I don't think anyone's actually watching this show on the internet to watch it or to enjoy it. But only so that they can write reviews about it and fill up column space uh, because God knows there's a precious finite amount of internet. And uh, I'm mixing my rants up. I'm sorry. If you didn't write about it, there would be a big empty spot on the website. So you got to fill it with 
uh, a review of the newsroom. No matter how awful it is or how much you dislike watching it, you are forced to produce content about it and then to get everybody else on the internet all jazzed about your content, even though they don't like it either. So like, there's just this big circle jerk of people who don't like it and complain about it to write stuff and that, you know, if you don't like it, you got to find some other way to generate content for your website. Or maybe your website just can have less content that day. Isn't, isn't that, is it at least a possibility? Is the, the, you're so worried that you will generate 75 cents less that you got to, I don't know, maybe people are making thousands of bucks off this stuff, so who cares if I'm miserable having to endure. I don't read the stuff, but I have to read the tweets about the stuff. And about 10 or 12 of those, and you really get sick and tired of the entire world. So, I'd like to thank Eric, though, who is not watching this, I'm sure, but really cheered me up with a tweet when I was cranky. I think the heat has made me cranky. But this is just one of those things. It's like, I don't know. It was something I had to run into in the recap game, where... People just hated the show. They hated the show. Show after show after show, they would talk about how they hated the show. And it's like, after six or seven weeks, maybe you should stop writing about this thing that you hate and just take a break and get away from it and get a life. I don't know. I'm probably the worst person to make an example of it because I, I have uh, the number of episodes of Raw, and we're coming up on 1,000, the number of episodes of Raw that I have missed, you could probably count on one hand, and even those, I may have gone back and seen them later, I'm not sure, but I had counted my recaps, I only wrote about, what, 300 recaps out of 1,000, so that's no big deal, but it does give me some gravitas to put behind my opinion, right? Raw 1000 is next week, three hours, and three hours for an undetermined amount of weeks after that. It's going to be brutal. But, I'll probably watch it, and I'll probably tweet it. Probably for the same reason that those idiots writing newsroom recaps keep doing it, is that they like writing something that gets responded to and that gets feedback. And that's what we all want anyway, right? Pay attention to me! That's what it always boils down to. Of course, you could be more like Amber Cope and then just find a front runner and get in their way. Who can I latch on to? Who can I use to further my. I got nothing. You know, I just gotta hope that one day I will tweet the right thing, seen by the right person, who will retweet it to the right amount of people. It's now 6 38 p.m., and that'll be my ticket. I think that's the only reason I have as many followers as I have now is that uh, the mass man was kind enough to retweet me once or twice or mention me. So I got a whole bunch of people who like follow me but don't say anything. And may not even read me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that Twitter thing works. I follow 360 people and I feel like it's overwhelming. Some of these people that follow me, they got thousands of followers. So I know they're not really following me. Which is probably why I'm not getting any retweets or action from them. Speaking of tweets, I got one from Drew today. He said pomegranate, which was funny because it was, a, am assuming, a prediction for Friday's yogurt, which I, in fact, tweeted on Friday. It was pear. I told him it takes a special talent to have the answer three days ago and still get it wrong. I don't know if he liked that or not. But he may be watching, so. Hi, Drew. I talked about you. Mmm. This is the tastiest two full servings of vegetables I'm going to have all day. And I think my time is up. So, I actually, I got a 7 o'clock conference call. So I'm going to be here another hour. Hopefully I'll get home in time for Raw. And then you'll see me tweeting on there. Uh, if you don't like Raw, you will probably ignore me for those two hours. Thank you in advance. If you want to direct the discussion for tomorrow, you know how to find me. Hit me here. Email the W. All them places. Otherwise, uh, I'll just be riffing it.
I'll try to write something down on a post-it note ahead of time. We'll see. Thanks.